All right, here's a comparison between two nearly identical JBL amplifiers. The one on the left is the JBL GTX 500 mono amplifier, uh, rated for 500 watts RMS into 2 ohms and 300 watts RMS into 4 ohms. On the right, we have the JBL Club 5501, uh, rated for 550 watts RMS into 2 ohms and 350 watts RMS into 4 ohms. And I took the covers off of these because I wanted to see if the what the differences were. Uh, the one on the left has these massive uh, transformers. Uh, I've seen dynos on the GTX 500 on an SMD dyno uh, at over 700 watts RMS certified. And um, looking at the transformers and the capacitors and the way this thing is built uh, doesn't surprise me. Um, way underrated. So you can see here uh, they use lots of um, heat transferring uh, paste uh, where it connects to the heat sink which is part of the chassis of the amplifier. Um, and then on the the club version, the 5501 uh, it doesn't look quite as impressive. Similar components, same size capacitors, uh, a little different uh, make. Uh, this one uh, on that same SMD dyno but by a different person, uh, they got a certified 640 watts RMS into 2 ohms. Uh, pretty impressive. So there you have it. The GTX 500 compared to the Club 5501 J JBL mono subwoofer amplifiers.